Well, mostly you just go about your everyday pursuits. Uh, the code is designed to be addressed to the individual person. Yes. And two words, construct, uh, three words, constructive problem solving, with the emphasis on problem solving, but make it a constructive. That's it. Each and every day. What's the best way to go about solving a problem in the most constructive manner? That's code. That's the whole code. And just stick with that. It's not spread in what you call traditional propaganda or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just solving problems. The people of the world are crying out for problems to be solved. So all real codification is, counter-racist codification, is about constructive problem solving. Mm -hmm. Now, the white supremacists say, oh, yes, I can solve problems. I got all kinds of ways of solving problems. I'm the prob problem solving master. See, so they'll say, well, is there a problem going on in Somalia? And they'll say, yes, we got all kinds of problems in Somalia. Okay, well, my way of solving the problems in Somalia is to drop some barrel bombs. All right, so yeah, no people, you know, who are crying about their problems or whatever or trying to settle their disputes or whatever, you drop a bum on all of them, then problem solved. Mm. That's why there's nobody there. I mean, you know, you just say, hey, empty that space and, and turn it over to the elements, the sun and the moon and whatnot, and the sand and whatnot. Hey, just drop a bum on them. That'll take care of that. Okay, next problem. Drop a bum on that. They are problem solvers. They're the strongest in the world when it comes to problem solving. But codification, counter-racist codification, is about finding the best way to solve the smallest or the largest problem on a daily basis by individuals, wherever you happen to be, and do so in the most constructive manner. That's all. You don't scratch your head and worry about people not picking up on what you're saying or anything like that. Just say that you are here to solve problems. Okay. Now, what's the best procedure for solving problems? Questions and answers. 